Brandon had invited us to be part of the proposal. We knew Alyssa, our daughter, was due the day before. But we never actually thought that she would go into labor on her due date, but I guess we were wrong. <laughs> we thought we had plenty of time. The day before we were supposed to go to DC, we get a text from John that Alyssa's in labor. So we drop everything, rush to the airport to get on a plane to try to get there before Allie gets here. And when we're going in the airport, right there, the text comes through and there is baby Allie already born. But we're going to Florida anyway to see this new baby. The delivery was really quick. Now that's some balloons there. It went great. She had the baby at a birthing center, and so they released her to go home that same night, and we got to see the baby the next day. It's a new baby with a name. I'll do the baby time. Hi. Hey, oh, baby. Oh, my you look beautiful. These are for you. Where's Allie? She really, you couldn't even tell she had a baby. She looked great. Can we pee? She's right Can here. Oh, my goodness. She's been waiting for you. It was really, really special for my parents to be able to come here and to see Allie, you know, in our home and meet her and be, you know, very relaxed and they can spend more time, one-on-one -on -one time with us and with her. Look at that little Allie J. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a ton of little Bates cousins that want to come see you. No, they're uncles. Oh, yeah. yeah You're right. Uncles and aunts. Aunts and yeah. uncles. It is really funny relating to like Jeb and Judson as, you know, uncles and not as cousins. Huh? It's Webster cousins. Yes. And it's the Bates aunts and uncles. That is so weird. It seems more as cousins, like age wise, but they're aunts and uncles. How much did she weigh? Six eleven. Six eleven. And She's a half. so tiny. <laughs> <And a half. laughs> yeah.